the CeraVe Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is the same hydrating mineral sunscreen. Is this one is considered a chemical sunscreen, meaning it uses chemicals to block the sun's rays, UVA and UVB. It uses zinc oxide, oil free, non comedogenic, super hydrating. It does not cause acne for myself or my teenage daughter. It does have ceramides, cinnamide, and hyaluronic acid in it if that is important to you. Now, this one is a mineral sunscreen. This one is a two ounce bottle. And this one that's tinted is a 1.7 ounce bottle. So this is the mineral one. And a mineral sunscreen is, is like considered a physical block, right? So it's going to be zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And so that means it's using physical blockers, things that are sitting on your skin. And you guys are used to seeing that probably like if you see like a white stripe on somebody's face and they're a lifeguard, that's a physical sunblock. But nobody wants a white stripe on their face. So CeraVe and several other companies have developed these tinted mineral sunscreens and they're a great balance. Because All right, so let's rub them in. <laughs> I put a ton there, right? Okay. But normally what you would see with a mineral sunscreen is you would see this white cast that you would not be able to get rid of. But as you guys can see, that is not the case. It accidentally put a lot on, but let's like, let's rub this in. All right. So this is your traditional chemical sunscreen. You're used to seeing, see it right, wipes right in. This is the mineral sunscreen right there. So you can see this one has a very, very sheer tint to it, but, and, and that's fantastic because I wear this on the days when I don't wear makeup. But what I love about this is there's a mineral sunblock, but you can't see it because they have put this awesome tint in here. So y'all see there's no white cast on there. And that is super important with a mineral sunscreen. If you have acne prone skin, I would say go with this. This is fantastic. Like if I'm going for a run and I just want to have on enough makeup that you know, I don't scare people or I'm going to the gym or something, I'll just throw this on with some lip gloss and be on my way. And it has enough coverage. You saw that kind of tint. So it's very pretty. I, I love how both of them absorb really quickly and they don't leave like this super greasy feeling on my face. But my skin feels very, very hydrated all day long. I love that. Um, and if you do use things like this, like serums, which I do, put those on and let them fully dry and then put this on and then makeup on top if you're going to. So like for me personally, I will put makeup on. Every day I have this, I will put makeup on over this. If I'm using this, I'm pretty much not using makeup. You could, I just, I wouldn't because why? I mean, this is like, it's already tinted, you know what I mean? If you find yourselves in the market for sunscreen, which we all should, right? Wear your sunscreen every day, not just in the summer. Every day the sun is out, which is every day, right? It's the difference and I hope you found that helpful because it's not an either or for me, it's definitely a both. And I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.